I work at Loma Linda University and I, along with my colleague Tammy Thomas, have authored the piece entitled The Development of a Physician Vitality Program, a brief report. When I was first asked to develop a role for physician vitality, I was a bit dubious, to be honest. I didn't think I would be accepted by physicians and I really wondered about the value of this program. In the first few months, as I did an assessment of the faculty and the residents here, I heard story after story of situations where there had been no one to process things, aside from a colleague or a social worker passing by or maybe a chaplain, and I thought there is a place here for a therapist. I've heard stories of women who miscarried while they were even taking care of other healthy mothers who were pregnant. I've heard of babies who were dying in the hands of the doctor, people who died in the office. I've heard of the frustration of keeping patients alive only because it was the desire of a family member and the treatments were very difficult for that individual to endure. Indeed, they didn't want those treatments. So as I reflect on my experience trying to formulate this kind of role, there were a lot of things in my mind. I did a literature search as well, of course, and I saw the evidence for, for a position like this. For example, between 40 and 60 percent of physicians at any time experience some form of burnout. If you press that a little further, we see that women physicians are 60 times more likely to experience burnout than their male counterparts. If we even go back another layer, we find that between three and four hundred physicians take their own lives every year in suicide, many of whom experience burnout and or drug abuse and or mental illness that was never treated. There is a place for therapeutic intervention for physicians. And we share my attempts to try to formulate a role that was consistent with the practice, consistent with my surroundings and the context, in which I could use skills that I have as a medical family therapist, as a family therapist educator, and as a history of having been a nurse for many years, so that I could understand some of the issues that were being uh, faced by our physicians. Some of the initiatives that I started, quite frankly, weren't that good. They were things that I was doing to the doctors rather than working alongside them and attending to the things that they thought would be helpful. We share in this article some of the initiatives that we've tried, certainly not all. We talk somewhat about <clears throat> the principles that guided our, our attempts to form this, this uh, position, and we also talk about some of the medical family therapy and marriage and family therapy skills that have really been valuable in the position. We hope you enjoy this article and uh, we hope that it gives you some ideas of how to take the skills that you've learned in graduate school and apply them to any number of other positions and any other number of roles because there are a lot of roles in this country that have not yet been developed for family therapists. We hope this gives you just one more idea.